Hello YouTube. Today I am walking to my favorite lake here in Gothenburg called uh, Dilkan. It's uh, it's one of the bigger lakes here in uh, Gothenburg. Uh, maybe the biggest. And uh, yeah, uh, you're gonna see how. How nice the nature is here in Sweden. It's uh, especially nice in in the summer. Here's a small mansion. Lake is up on, on this hill, uh, and it's actually reserve uh, water for people living in Gothenburg. There's a stable here with uh, a few horses <laughs> and they they had a sign there where they offer uh, what's the word I mean it's the it's free free shit from the horses. <laughs> I can't remember the name for horse shit <laughs> in uh, English. Some people say, say uh, they're surprised over how green Sweden is. is. Uh, foreigners, um, but uh, that's only in the summer. In the winter, it's not as green. <laughs> land to grow a 
few crops nothing to like sustain them or whatever but it's uh, kind of like a hobby and grow, and grow some a few crops Also buy uh, small houses here, really small, and they're like as expensive as a normal apartment due to the location. It's uh, very attractive to uh, to live in these houses during the summer. So I've been walking um, to this, uh, or I've been going to this um, lake, Delcon, for uh, for as long as I can remember. Uh, basically, 35 years almost. There's a golf course here as well. I have never actually played golf. Uh, haven't had that interest. Perhaps uh, I should try it. I like uh, mini golf, but uh, I haven't played other in a while either, but I guess it's not my thing, really. I'm more of a video gamer. It's a bit of a walk to get to the lake, but you can also uh, take a car uh, on another road. Mm, but there can also be uh, quite a lot of people, so it can be difficult to get a uh, get parking. But. Uh, I also don't have a car, so <laughs> that won't be happening for me. I have uh, made a life choice to basically never have a car uh, because it's too expensive for me. 
I mean, I can't afford it, but it, I think it's it's not worth it if you live in the city. You can just go by public transport. It's uh, uh, pretty good in uh, in Sweden, uh, at least if you compare to if you're from the U.S. or something. And uh, if I need a car, I can just uh, rent one or uh, yeah, take Uber or Bolt. I'd rather have my money working for me in the stock market rather than uh, Wasting it on fuel or uh, any maintenance or whatever for the car. Yeah, I've, I've thought about a lot what I value in life and I value freedom and time above uh, most things Life, liberty and property It's my philosophy <laughs> I'm uh, American at heart, I guess. America from the olden days. Now, America has uh, their own set of problems. Uh, mainly, I believe, caused by uh, a too big government, uh, corporatism, too much debt. And uh, other things. <laughs> so um, I'm a lot into economics, investing, and uh, uh, through investing, I get. To uh, I, I try to get freedom. I'm not free yet. I still have a, a day job. Um, yeah, and uh, I don't like to waste money on things uh, if I don't value it. I mean, it's uh, maybe it's a given for most people, but uh, I try to spend mine more wisely. Well, that's uh, one of the reasons I don't own uh, uh, my home. I rent, but that's only because my rent is so low. Uh, I pay. In dollars, it's about uh, $400 a month or something uh, for four, 44 square meters. I would uh, I would buy a home if the rent was 
double but uh, then I will get more value from it I believe but now uh, it's not worth it I'd rather put my money in the stock market and get a pretty good return uh, since if you buy a home if you're lucky it's the same home in 20 years minus maintenance it hasn't grown it hasn't yielded anything it's the same home of course it can uh, appreciate in value because of high demand and inflation but uh, uh, compared to a company it uh, is unlikely to grow and yield as much as, as a company depending on the company of course but if you're well diversified it's not a problem in the long term here's a small diner I also have some animals, I believe. You can buy some waffles. Here it is. And we're almost by the by the lake. It's a bit uh, cloudy today, but it's still hot. Better than staying at home. Delsjön. I usually a lot of the family they usually sit here on the grass, but uh, I usually go to the left side here, uh, sit on cliffs. Sorry about the wind. I would say the clouds doesn't do it justice today, but uh, it's quite nice. So bring your family to have a barbecue here. It's uh, quite common, especially among foreigners to do it. I don't know why locals don't do it that often. But this uh, is uh, usually occupied when everybody's on vacation. Today is not a lot of people, but uh, when it's not as cloudy, it's uh, usually uh, com completely full here.
even last year during uh, COVID. Well, it's st still COVID, but uh, it's not uh, as prevalent. Prevalent is a word, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Sit around here sometimes. Pretty good. I also like to sit down here. Or you can even walk onto the uh, half island to the left. like 20 degrees Celsius or something. Which is fine for me. So you don't even see the, the whole lake here. It's uh, much bigger than this. this time. Uh, I hope you enjoy, enjoy it.